4 Educational Bedtime Stories for Children Reading bedtime stories is one of the activities that parents can do to get their children used to reading diligently. In addition, reading fairy tales can be an alternative so that children can fall asleep quickly and build closeness between parents and children. Fairy tales are not only interesting, but also teach the value of life. The Story of the Proud Crane A heron walks gracefully along a small river. Its eyes stare at the clear river water. Its long neck and beak are ready to catch prey in the water for breakfast. At that time, the river was filled with swimming fish, but the crane was feeling a little haughty that morning. I don't want to eat small fish, he said to himself. Small fish don't deserve to be eaten by a graceful crane like me. Now, a fish that was slightly bigger than the other fish, was passing nearby. No, said the stork. I wouldn't bother myself to open my beak and eat a fish that big. As the sun begins to rise, the fish that are in shallow water near the river's edge, finally swim to the middle of the river, which is deeper and colder. The stork, who did not see any more fish, had to be content with eating small snails on the banks of the river. This story teaches kids not to be arrogant, because this trait will only harm both others and yourself. The story of the mouse deer and the crocodile. One day, there was a mouse deer who was walking in the woods looking for food. Because the food around his residence had decreased, the mouse deer went to look outside his area. On the way, he had to cross a river which was inhabited by a lot of very hungry crocodiles. Mouse deer thought for a moment, then he approached the river bank. Hey crocodile, have you had lunch? Asked the mouse deer with a loud voice. Not long after, a crocodile appeared from the surface of the water. Who screams at this time of day? Just disturbing your sleep. Hey dear, shut up. Otherwise, I'll eat you later, said another crocodile. I came here to deliver a message from the king of the jungle, so don't eat me yet, replied the mouse deer. What's wrong with the deer? Let's quickly say, said the crocodile. All right. The king of the forest asked me to count the number of crocodiles here. The king of the forest wants to give you a gift, said the mouse deer. So now, call all your friends, he continued. Hearing this, the crocodile was very happy and immediately called all his friends to line up on the surface of the river. However, they all turned out to be only deceived by the mouse deer. Cleverly, the mouse deer immediately left after counting the last crocodile at the end of the river and escaped from the clutches of a hungry crocodile. The story of the mouse deer and the crocodile teaches us that ingenuity can beat strength. Even in the most difficult situation. Even so, lying is also not allowed. The Tale of the Bear and the Bee One day, a bear was exploring the forest in search of fruit. In the midst of his search, he finds a fallen tree where there is a hive where bees store honey. The bear started sniffing carefully around the fallen tree to see if the bees were in the hive. Just at that moment, a small swarm of bees flew home with lots of honey. The bees that came home knew the bear's goal and started flying up to the bear, stung him sharply and then ran to hide into the hole in the tree trunk. Instantly the bear became very angry, jumped onto the fallen stem and with his claws destroyed the beehive. But this actually made the whole swarm of bees that were in the hive come out and attack the bear. The poor bear finally ran away and could only save himself by diving into the river water. What can be learned from the story of the bear and the bee is that we must be wiser to restrain ourselves than to add to our problems by venting our emotions. The Story of the Goose and the Golden Egg One day, a farmer brought a goose home. The next day, the goose laid a golden egg. Magic swan, said the farmer. He immediately took the golden egg to the gold dealer in the market to find out if the egg was really golden. This is pure gold, said the gold dealer. The merchant bought it with a lot of money. Since then, every day the goose lays a golden egg. 
Now, the farmer already has a dozen golden eggs. However, the farmer was still not satisfied. I will be very rich. But, I want the goose to lay more golden eggs every day so that I can get rich quickly, said the farmer. After the goose laid many golden eggs in one day, the farmer was still not satisfied. The goose laid out a lot of golden eggs. I will not wait for tomorrow. I want to get rich quick. I will slaughter the goose and take all the gold in its body, thought the farmer. The farmer finally slaughtered the goose, but how shocked he was. Instead of finding lots of golden eggs, he didn't find any in the goose's body. Now, farmers can only regret. Out of greed, he had slaughtered a goose. If only you don't slaughter the goose, surely you can still get the golden egg. That is the result of greed. This story teaches children not to be greedy. To achieve success, it takes hard work and patience. Greedy and impatient people will only suffer losses. Hope it is useful, thank you.